little tech tip for uh, rebuilding your pumps. First of all, these hex head bolts can get um, chemical reaction between the, the zinc plating on the bolt and the aluminum body and they'll make them very tight. You can actually strip them out if you try to get them out without loosening them first, you know, giving them a good shock. I know you're out in the field, sometimes you don't have the proper tools, so all you have is some of these little Allen wrenches. You know, these aren't going to work because they'll strip out the bolt before you can get it out. So the way to do that, to get around that, is if you can have a, a like a half inch socket drive, piece of three quarter inch cold rolled steel, anything that you can get onto the pump, get on the, the whole head of the hex head bolt and give it a good smack with a hammer. That shock will make it loose enough to where you can actually get it off with one of those little Allen head wrenches. So let me just go ahead and do that for you here. Okay, now, now the big secret is make sure you have it flat all the way across the head so that way you don't, you don't damage the head of the thing. See how easy that is now? All of them will be that easy. Okay, and that makes it easier to get them off. Now, to finish taking them off, you can just go ahead, um, go ahead and just back, just go ahead and take them all the way off. It's not gonna hurt anything. I typically leave two of the center ones in place until I get them all off. Making sure not to lose the little washers because you're gonna need those. Lock it back down. If you have a pump that has uh, getting water and oil, this is one of the things you'll have to do to check your pistons, make sure your pistons aren't cracked um, in order to properly make sure that you, all you need is packing. Sometimes these get a little, uh, a little difficult to uh, get off here. There you go. Okay. Those are the ceramic pistons. The best way to tell if they're cracked would to be roll them out, each one out to its furthermost point like this one is. Wipe them down with water. Get some, some dark wheel bearing grease, old oil, something like that. Smear it all over the, smear it all over the piston. Rag, wipe it off. That'll highlight any imperfections in the piston. Make it, uh, make a crack show up really well so you can see it. Then you would have to check your your packings inside your pump and that would make sure that would tell you if you're you know you'd have to replace the packings inside the pump if you were getting water in your oil as well and to put it back together it's just the exact same opposite just slide it on line up your pistons so they are not bad tap it on get it straight put your screws in And then one of the things that you want is you'll want to actually tighten the manifold from the inside out. When I say that, I mean from the inside bolts and out. And you want to alternate the pro alternate them. So you would do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now if you missed that, okay, you said like if you did it again, you'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that way, you, whenever you tighten them down, you're tightening the head all evenly as opposed to starting on the left side, going to the right side. Alrighty, so.
Again, we're doing this kind of like you were out in the field, so we're not using all the proper shop tools that you would have. So we're just kind of trying to make this as, as uh, like a field service type item. But these would be torqued down with, an, with a torque wrench to the proper foot pounds. So, but in the field, you may not have that option, so you just have to do it to uh, do with what you have, and that may be one of these small Allen head wrenches. Okay.